guys, how's it going? Ed Star here, back with another episode of my FIFA 22 Saturn United Career Mode Rods episode number 67. So in the last episode we started off this brand new season, we started off with a 3-2 win against Wolves, they only had two shots on target, and guess what happened? They scored with them both. Typical bullshit that still needs to be rectified in this stupid game because... Yeah, goalkeeping animations in this game are just absolutely broken. Right, moving on to today's episode, we've got three games for you in today's episode. We've got games against top of the table Leeds United, second place Southampton and fifth place Liverpool. So it's a big episode today, we should find out who we also get in our Champions League group. So let's see how we get on today. We'll also finish the, um, the summer transfer window, so we'll have to see if there's any more players coming in. I've got a couple of players in mind um, on my shortlist. Um, I definitely need centre back cover now that Sa um, Sadie has got injured, so yes that is a spoiler. Make sure you go back and check the last episode out because um, Hamadou Sadie did get injured for two months, so I am going to need defensive cover um, since um, Kano is going to have to play there for the next couple of months. Um, so yeah, let's go make a quick signing right now and I will let you know who it is. Right, ladies and gents, this is the guy that I've brought in. His name is Juan Castillo. He's from Venezuela. He's only 74 rated, but I just want to bring some extra cover just in case Cano does get injured as well. Um, 74 rated, got good physical, good defending, decent pace, which we can work on. He's from Venezuela. Um, he's only 5 foot 11, but that's not the over. That's not a big problem when it comes to um, centre backs. I do like him to be a little bit taller, but at the end of the day, it's not the end of the world. Um, got good jumping, good reactions, good sprint speed, good stamina, which is good, good strength, um, decent defensive awareness, good heading accuracy, and is good in the tackle as well. So I think that's a pretty decent pickup, to be fair. Um, definitely one that I can rotate around with Cano because he is. Um, He's not fully fit, so yeah, I'm happy to make the signing. Welcome to the club, Juan Castillo. Um, right, um, Inter Milan have tried offering me £127.6 million for Duarte Lopez. They reckon I could get £200 million for him. To be honest with you, I don't want to sell him, but if I could get £200 million, there is one lad on my shortlist that I could definitely get. So... I'm not going to sell him for less than anything under 215 million. I'm really not. He's not. He's worth 200 million is my lowest offer I'm going to. So they need to offer a lot more than that. So not, they're not going up any higher than that. So do you know what? Fuck off. I'm not going to waste my time with that. <laughs> Joachim Anderson as well. Of all the players they want me to offer Joachim Anderson. No. Absolutely not. He's going absolutely nowhere, Lauren. Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first game of today's episode. We're going to be going up against Leeds United. Um, yeah, it's pretty um, sad to see um, Sadie get injured in the last game. I've had to um, take him out of the team, unfortunately. He's gone for two months, so big opportunity for Cano to step up. Um, he's got a big opportunity now, so hopefully he can do the job. Um, other than that, it's pretty much my um, strongest first team. Um, Lopez has now hit 85 rated. Um... Bond's up to 81. Um, yeah, this, Lawrence up to 85. This team has grown really, really well. So let's see if we can carry on that good run of form. Um, hopefully we can put a bit more convincing performance than we did against Wolverhampton Wanderers. And hopefully the boys are ready for the job. Let's see if we can get the job done against Leeds United. Right, here we go, ladies and gents. We are here at Ellen Road to take on Leeds United. They've started the season well. They will beat um, somebody 4-1 in their first game. And they did sit top of the table. Um, a couple of teams have played their game since. And I think we've moved down to about fifth or sixth. So, it's again, it's a big opportunity for us here. Um, Moise Keane has, got, has scored a hat-trick on the opening day of the season. So, he's going to be one that we really do need to keep quiet. Because um, he is the man in form. Starting off with Leeds United, this is their team. We've got Martinez in goal, 85 rated. Well, that's a very decent pickup for Leeds. That's probably a reason why they started well. Um, Soyuncu, 83. Shackleton, 79, is actually an original Leeds United player. Um, Denier, 83. Centellas, 85. Jude Bellingham, 88 rated. Fucking hell. Uh, Diata, 83. Barte, 80. Verratti, 85. Nacelso 84 and Moister Keane 87. Fucking hell, that's a good team for Leeds United. That's probably why they're doing really, really well. I mean, that's a class team. I mean, not really that many players on the bench that can change things. I mean, Estu Pinan, um, Buendia, Luis Javier Suarez. They could possibly do something, but 
that strong, that first team for Leeds is really, really strong. This is going to be a very, very difficult game, and I'm hopeful the boys can get the job done today. Stanley. Lopez! Oh, what a save! What a save from Martinez! Absolutely no right to make that. Here's Bond. Trying to get it onto Velikovnia, but Verratti reads it. God, there's no room for her in this game, for sure. That's a good ball. That's a great ball. That's what Jude Bellingham can do. And it's that man again who's been causing problems already this season. Moise Keane. And that's what Jude Bellingham can do. If you give him any sort of space, you can find that pass. As soon as I knew that straight pass was going to go straight through, I knew that was going to be a goal. Fuck's sake. I mean, it's been a really, really, you know, any sort of error, they punish you. It's as simple as that. It's the fourth goal of the season for Moise Keane already. 29 minutes in, we're 1-0 down. Oh, come on! Diata is going to cause so many problems. Oh, fuck off. Are you kidding me? How has he got so much space there, La Celso? Fucking hell, boy. He's got to wake up here. This is not good enough. I mean, Anselmi, how has he got so much space on the right-hand side? What are you doing? That is really poor. He's got a free header. He's not going to miss from there, is he? Fucking hell, boys. He's Bond. That's a foul. Ref! Fucking hell. No fucking fouls are they going to make. That's weird seeing Verratti in a lead shirt. Very weird. He's Bond. Can he get that cross through? Yes, he can. Duarte Lopez, we're back in the game. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. The main man, Duarte Lopez, with the goal. And it's that man, Jay Bond, again, who creates the fucking goal. Let's go. Just what Sutton United needed. That's a class finish from Duarte there. Right in the top corner. He's not even looking at the ball, is he? I think that was a no-look finish. Wow. 2-1. Three goals in 15 minutes. I can't keep up with this at the moment. Say, so, simple as that. Right, half time, Leeds United 2, Sutton United 1. At the moment, I cannot handle their fucking intensity leads. I mean, they've got so much pressure on me, I've got no chance for an error. I mean, thank God, thank God Duarte Lopez got us a, um, a route back into the game. But I just cannot handle leads at the moment. They are just ridiculously good. Um, three shots apiece, 57% um, of the ball we've had, but, you know, we're trying to make more passes, but they just are just so good with intensity and pushing just to make that error. Oh, shit. Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. Oh, good save, Sanchez. Jesus Christ. Bon, what are you doing, buddy? You're going to come off for that. That was disgraceful, that touch. Need to make a change. I'm going to get Danny De Bruyne on. See if he can make a change. Keep it at Shores. Nice one. Right. Shit! 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 Oh, fucking hell. Oh, my God. Don't do that. Oh, great pass. Duarte. And he's put Bell in. Chance. 2-2. Let's go. Come on. We've not been at our best this match. But I'll tell you what. That could be a big goal at the end of the season. Let's go. Bell with a big goal. Shivan's going to come on for the last couple of minutes. The 20 minutes or so as well. Let's go. Come on. Huge finish past Martinez there. Composed. That is what Bell is. He's composed. And Sutton United out of nowhere have an equaliser. Let's go. 
Good ball. Here's Sim. Can he find a goal? Yes, he can. Duarte Lopez. Let's go. Out of nowhere from 2-0 down. Sorry, not 2-0 down. 2-1 um, down. We, we take the lead for the first time in the game. Duarte Lopez is at the right place at the right fucking time. Let's go. That's a big goal. What a finish. Right place, right time, right finish. And Nick Mills is absolutely thrilled. We've turned it on its head. 3-2, 15 minutes to go. This would be a huge victory. No, you don't let Bell turn. You do not let Bell turn. Do you know why? Because he's going to make you pay. That's a finish. That is what you do not do. You do not let Bell turn. What a finish. 4-2. Surely that's game over now. That is criminal defending from Leeds United. You let him turn and you let him run. That is what's going to happen. So close to a penalty as well at the end there. If that took him out, that definitely would have been a penalty. Let's go. Come on. Bell with an incredible finish in the top corner. Let's go. 4-2. Sutton United have well and truly turned this game on its head. That's a go. Sim, he's in. Can he get the touch? Yes, he can. He's beaten his man. Surely now, 5-2. Danny De Bruyne will seal the game. That's it. Game, set and match. Sutton United have found the gear to get them themselves the victory here. Fully deserved. What a performance. 5-2. Absolutely an incredible performance in this second half. We rode our luck in the second half. You know, they start the second half the much better team. But we grew into the game. And that is what Sutton United are all about. And Danny De Bruyne, the substitute who came on for Bond, gets the goal. 5-2. Nick Mills is delighted. I'm delighted. 86 minutes in. That's it. Game, set and match. Here we go. Duarte Lopez. He was going to go in. But referee decides once again to put Leeds United out of their misery. Leeds United 2. Sutton United 5. What a performance. That second half was one of the best second half performances I think I've seen in a long, long time. We were up against it this second half. We were 2-1 down at half time. Duarte Lopez with four, um, two goals in and four, from four attempts. Let's go. Huge performance from the strikers, and we deliver once again. Eight shots to a. They actually had more shots than us as well, which is actually a bit more um, confusing, but we're so clinical in front of goal. It's just ridiculous. I don't know what it is, but I just feel so confident when I'm in goal now. Um, in, in, in on goal now. Let's go. Right, I have agreed to loan out Dembarta to Braga this season, so he will go out on loan for a year. Um, Hopefully this is the season where he grows ridiculously and he can be part of the first team next season. But I just feel like I've got too many wingers at the club and I just don't think Barter fits my plans this season. So I'm, I've agreed to let him go out on loan. So good luck to him and hopefully he comes back an even better player. Right ladies and gents, this is the moment of truth. This is all the moment you've all been waiting for. The Champions League group stage has been drawn. I don't. I think we've got a really tough group but... I will, I will tell you what it is at the moment. Group A, Napoli, Leverkusen, BSC, Young Boys and Rapid Vienna. I expect Napoli and Leverkusen to get through there. Group B, Milan, Berlin, Hertha Berlin, Ajax and Shakhtar Donetsk. That is a tough group. That is a tough group. I could not predict who comes out of that group. I'd imagine M Milan and probably Hertha Berlin. But Ajax and Shakhtar Donetsk are not um, difficult. Are very difficult teams. Group C, um, Manchester City, Real Madrid, Monaco and Genk. I'd imagine it would probably be Manchester City and Real Madrid, but Monaco might push them all the way. Group D, Chelsea, and Barcelona, Chelsea, Barcelona Spart Spartak, Moscow and FC Michelin. I'd imagine but, um, Chelsea and Barcelona will go through. Group E, got PSG, Villarreal, PSV and Benfica. That is a tough group as well, but I'd imagine probably PSV, um, PSG and, v and Villarreal will go through. Group F, Spurs, um, Juventus, um, CSK Moscow and Dynamo Kiev. That's not an easy group either, but I'd imagine Spurs and Juventus will go through. And Group G is where we come in. Inter, us, Dortmund and Antalya Spore. 
that is a really tough group. I'd imagine, I hope we can go through, but Inter and Dortmund in the same group is not going to be an easy group. That's a really tough group for us there, if I'm honest with you. So let's see how we get on. And Group H is Atletico de Madrid, um, Leipzig, Braga and Moscow. That's not a tough, that's not an easy group either. But I'd imagine Atleti and Leipzig go through. Yeah, Group G, that's a really tough group. I don't know what to predict. I'm hopeful we can t take the second spot. I'd imagine Inter will probably be favourites for the group. Um, I want to see see if we can get second spot. That big game against Dortmund will be the highlight for me personally. So let's see how we get on. That's the group stages. That will be in the next episode. Hopefully you guys are ready for it. Right, second game of today's episode, we are going up against Southampton here at the Sutton Stadium. Um, we are sitting top of the league, two wins from two. Very delighted with that win against Leeds United. It shows the strength and depth that we've got at the club. Um, you know, nice to see Danny De Bruyne come on and get a goal. Um, you know, I'm very happy with the way the team's going at the moment. This is going to be a very difficult game. Um, Southampton are one of my bogey teams on FIFA at the moment. They just always seem to beat me. And... Uh, you know, I would like a bit of revenge. So, let's see how we go today. It's exactly the same team that went out against um, Leeds United. So, hopefully the boys are ready for the task. Let's see how we get on. And let's see if we can beat Southampton. Right, here we go, ladies and gents. We are here at the Sutton Stadium to take on Southampton. Um, big game today. Brandon Bell's got six goals in his last three games. This is such a big game for all the, all the club here today. You know... I do think we should get past Southampton, but as you guys know recently, they've been my bogey team. Um, you know, they just they just always seem to beat me. I don't know what, what it is I do wrong against them, but they just always seem to have the better against me, and it's just it's starting to wind me up a little bit. But this is their team. They've got Juan Musso in goal, 83 rated, so they're staying same, um, almost pretty much the same team, really, but a couple of differences. I've got Varg in there, who played last time. Uh, Lianco played last time, 80. Holgate, 81. Bustos is 80 rated. He's a regen, so I might have to have a look at him. Um, Okafor, 81. Paul Pogba, 85. He's on the decline. Bragancha, 85. Turam, 85. He's always fucking scoring against me. We've got to keep him quiet today. Um, Dia, 81. And Darwin Nunez, 85. That's a great signing for Southampton. Uh, Jan Kupta, um, 79. Bakayoko 81, Coletta Carr is 83, probably should have started, um, Esposito 84, it's always causing problems, Sebastian Cordova 81, Casadai 82, he looks, he's the regen as well, another decent player, and Paul Bernardoni in goal, um, on the bench as well, so yeah, it's a very decent Southampton team, so yeah, not taking anything for granted here. Oh, fucking hell. Fucking hell. What is this play from Southampton? Pogba with the goal. Oh, he's going to be an absolute dickhead here. I fucking hate Pogba. I really do. I mean, what is that celebration? That's just embarrassing. Five minutes in and Sutton United have not started well at all here. Falling asleep at the back. I mean, Sanchez, you've got to be doing a bit better there, mate. You're a bit suspect. What is he doing outside of the foot? Nah, Sanchez, you've got to do better there, mate. That's not good enough. Five minutes in and we're already 1-0 down. One of these Come on, go to him! Fucking hell, boys! This is not good enough. God, we play like this in the Champions League. We're going to fucking struggle. Right, come on, Harubi. Push forward. Great ball, Lopez. Oh, great save. Brilliant ball from Harubi there. Duarte Lopez with the header. Beaten away by Musso. Here's Bell. Oh, fuck off, Pogba. Fuck off. Oh, good save. Great save there to deny Nunez. And it's... Getting saved from Sanchez. Boys, what are we doing? Be fair, if it wasn't for Sanchez, we'd be two or three down by now. Fucking hell! Boys, wait the fuck up! Come on! It's not difficult! Fuck 
fucking hate playing Southampton, man. Every single fucking time. They always do this. Pathetic defending. What are we doing? Sanchez cannot save everything. He nearly gets a hand to it, but to be fair, he should be keeping that out as well. Fuck off. Fucking hate playing Southampton, man. It's too easy for him, boys. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, of course the deflection goes straight to them. Fucking hell. South um, Sutton United nil, Southampton 2. Absolutely pathetic performance in that first half. We just cannot get going. I don't know what it is. What is going on with this team? You know, it was absolutely pathetic in that first half. I mean, they were all, they're all over us. Look at that. 61% of the ball, 7 shots to 4. They've had more on target than us. They deserve to be ahead. We're terrible at the moment. And it really does need to change, otherwise I'm making fucking changes. Better cough me out. What is the pass? Oh my god! Look at this stupid game, man! Look at this shit! Look at this! Look at this pass, man! Look at this! And it can't go through. Are you taking the piss? Right, come on. What is that pass? Fucking hell, Sanchez, save, catch it! You don't need to parry it away there, mate. Oh my god! Uh! Fuck off! I really hate playing Southampton. I really hate playing Southampton. Fuck off! This is pathetic, boys. Absolutely pathetic. Here we go, Danny De Bruyne. Let's go, we'll take it. Let's go. Get that ball. We don't deserve anything from this game. We really do not. We've been absolutely terrible. But Danny De Bruyne once again comes off the bench and gets us a goal. Come on. I don't think we're going to get anything from this game. We wouldn't deserve to get anything from this game. But once again, Danny De Bruyne gives us a chance. To be fair, he got really lucky there, Danny De Bruyne. It was a cruel deflection off Lianco. Was it Lianco? Or was it... It was Bustos, sorry. A very cruel deflection off Bustos. And um, he does get the goal. Come on. Here's Anselmi. Come on. Walker! He's done it! <laughs> Let's go! Come on! 2-2! Two -two. The most tightest of angles. And once again, we get very, very lucky with the finish. Let's go. Tom Walker comes off the bench. And does it again. That's a really good finish, but I don't know how the keeper let that in. Somehow we are level. Somehow. I, I don't know how we're level. We've been absolutely terrible this game. But yet, once again, we find a way to get into the game. Well done, Stanley. Always relied on Stanley. Here's Danny De Bruyne. He's come on and looked an impact. Here's Duarte. Chance. To... Can he get it? That's a penalty. That's a penalty. Let's go. Come on. What are you doing, Southampton, at the back? Are they going to collapse a two-goal lead? Moussa Varg with a very, very silly challenge. And he goes down and Sutton United in the 88th minute have a huge chance to take three points against Southampton. It's Duarte Lopez from the spot. I'm going left. Oh! Oh my god! So close to a save. I thought he saved it, but Duarte Lopez gives us a 3-2 lead. Let's go! We've not deserved it at all. We've been absolutely terrible. 2-0 down at half-time. You'd have thought, this is Southampton's three points for sure. S Sutton United didn't think that. Let's go. We do not give up. Let's go. Come on. Huge, th huge three points on offer here, lads. He's fuming, Hassan Hootel. 89th minute. Duarte Lopez has his fourth goal of the season. Come on, boys. Just keep the ball. 
Did you see that run that trash run of Trim Dunyas? <laughs> Pass it and keep it. There we go, that'll do. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what a great way to win three points. <laughs> keep it down our end. 3 2 win. I don't care how it comes. We will take any result that comes. We were not good in that game at all. But we will take the three points. Let's go. 14 shots to eight. And I think they had about 12 on target. That's how efficient they were. But we just we were just the better team. You know, we just took our chances. Southampton didn't. Uh, to, be, to be fair, it wouldn't surprise me if Sanchez is man of the match. Because that's how good he was. Yeah, man of the match. Eight. Um, he made... How many saves did he make? Goalkeeper. He made 10 saves in that match. 12 on target. 14 shots faced, 10 on target, 10, 12 on target, 10 saves. He did concede two, but he couldn't do anything about them too. Very good performance from Guillermo Sanchez. That is much better from Sutton United. Huge three points, huge character. Let's fucking go. Whoa, Jesus Christ. I've just changed the position of Julius Samuel. He's gone up 10 in rating from a, um, from a striker to a right winger. Wow, that is incredible growth. I'm absolutely astounded. That's great. Fantastic. Thank, thank God I signed him up, that's for sure. I'm, do you know what? I'm actually going to pr promote him. Actually, I'm not going to promote him because we also got Joseph M. Wepper as well. But he's 5 foot 11, but he's got great defending. So you guys know where he's going to go? Centre back. Yep, that's where he's going. Got a brand new centre back there, for sure. Let's go. Yeah, all right, Leeds. You, you've seen how how good Lauren can perform. Now you want him? <laughs> no, absolutely no chance. Right, we are into transfer deadline day now. Um, some big deals going on about Menendez, 120.5 million to Everton. Wow, big signing there. <laughs> Typical. I was actually having a look at your right, Bustos. Um, 80 rated. And I've just seen Southampton want to take him, but they want um, Christian Anselmi with him. No, absolutely not a chance. I'd love to sign Bustos because he looked really good against us, but yeah, no, I'm not letting Anselmi go to Southampton. I'm sorry. The only time I would sell a player is if it's not in the Premier League because I'm not selling to a Premier League rival. It just wouldn't make any sense. And fucking hell, Bologna trying to offer for fucking Jay Bond. Um, no, he's going nowhere either. Right, U Squad monthly report for September. Um, Simon Hansen, 78 to 92, is staying around for a while because he's just not going to get into the team. Um, Joseph and Wepper, of course, we're changing up to be a centre back. He's got much better centre back defensive capabilities, so much happy to keep him there. Uh, Paco Mora is not going to make the cut for me. 72 to 90 is just not good enough. And Julius Samuel, um, 79 to 93. Um, changing him up to be a right midfielder so he keeps his rating. Right, new scouting reports have finished, so let's quickly do some more scouting. It's probably not going to be too many more now. Um, we've just been to Germany, so let's go to France for three months. Just look for any player now. I'm not really bothered what comes back. If any talent does come back, then I'll let you know. Um, Italy, we'll go for three months and we will go to Spain. No, actually, let's go for some homegrown talent. Let's go to England for three months. Right, we did pick up two um, talents um, from the last scouting reports. Alberto Delgado, 59 rated, um, is 61 rated at centre-back position, so let's change him up to be a centre-back. Um, yeah, definitely got the capabilities of performing there. He's got 61 defending. I'm trying to look through my computer. Um, and we've also picked up Benjamin Danjuma, but he looks like he's got a better pass on him, so let's see how long it takes for him to become a centre midfielder. And let's go from there. Two weeks? Yeah, I think he'll shoot up in rating, if I'm honest with you. Right, I don't know why teams are trying to offer me deals now that the transfer window has finished. Um, not going to sign sell Laurent, that's for sure. Um, and two transfer offers. One from Manchester City, which I would normally entertain, but, you know, I don't feel justified accepting offers now because they just wouldn't... It, you know, it would go through, but we'd have to wait till January to get the money, so there's no point. So we'll wait till January if there's any transfer offers that come through. 
Right, ladies and gentlemen, the big trans um, the big news. Nicholas Wagner is ready to rejoin the first team. He's not going to be ready for a little bit, but he is on the verge of getting his first team spot back. He's not. He's going to have to work hard to get it back because, I mean, Bell and Lopez have been well and truly been above him. You can't drop Nick Wagner from this team. He's he's the sole reason of the career mode. Um, you know, he's he's getting back to full fitness. But he's not quite ready to return just yet. He'll be back for the Champions League. I'm so excited to see him in the Champions League. Right, final game of today's episode, ladies and gents. We are going up against Liverpool. Both teams have got three out of three. And three wins and three wins out of three. So uh, this is a game where hopefully we can end their winning start. And hopefully not lose our winning start, if you get what I mean. Um... As, as you saw in previous moments, um, Nicholas Wagner is ready to return. He is on the bench for today's game. He's not fully fit to, re to return to the team, but I probably might give him 10, 15 minutes you know, at the end if we are struggling and we do need to bring someone on. Um, other than that, it's exactly the same team as before. I like where I'm going with this team. I just cannot seem to drop anybody at the moment. Um, hopefully the boys are ready for the task and hopefully we can get the three points on the board. Let's see how we get on. Right, here we go ladies and gents. We are here at Anfield to take on Liverpool. Big game today. Let's see how we get on today. Both teams are three out of three. No slip up from either team so far, but there is bound to be a slip up here from someone. And hopefully that is not us. Hopefully the boys are ready for a huge game today. Liverpool, of course, are one of the best teams in the world, if not the best team in the world, especially in England for sure. They've got um, Alisson in goal, 90 rated, Alexander-Arnold, 92, Todibo, 84, Varane, 88 from Manchester United, which is a bit weird, but is what it is. Never, 82, Fabinho, 87, Camavinga, who's just signed from Arsenal, 80, 89 rated, Lorente, 88, Yota, 86, Salah 82, which is a bit weird because he's, he's very much appreciated in this game. Oyarzabal 89, so what a team that is from Liverpool. Schumacher 83, Elmas 83, Che 77, Macias 84, Hoiberg 86, Zuma 84 and Yaros, the backup keeper in goal. Um, what more can I say? Huge, huge game from us today. Let's see if the boys are ready for the task. There we go. Volkovnia, oh great chance. Lopez! Great save from Allison. Let's go. Oh fucking hell, Lorente's just stolen it back from me there. Get rid of it. Well in. Come on. He's bombed. Oh great ball. Put Bell through. And Volkovnia! Oh let's go Volkovnia! I guess his first goal for Sun United. Let's go! Come on! Yeah, he's going to get in the camera and tell you, mate. Yeah, put him on that, yeah. Velikovnia, let's go. First goal for Sutton United, let's go. Good finish there from the Slovakian. I think he's Slovakian, I'm not sure. It might be Slovenia, but I'm not sure. In off the post. Alisson gets a hand to it, but he cannot keep it out. And Sutton United do have a very valuable lead here. One one goal from Vol Volkovnia, he's first for the club. Let's go. It's up Great pass, Volkovnia. Oh, there's nobody there. Is it? Yes, it's Bell. Bell's going to get there. Let's go. What a moment for Sutton United here. Brandon Bell. Take a fucking Bell. That cross from Bell Velikovnia. What a cross. Unbelievable. That deserved somebody to get on the end of that. Look at this cross. Take nothing away from that cross. Right into the danger area. And Bale gets on the end of it. The defender should be doing much better for Liverpool there. I mean, what is Varane doing? He's got to get that clear. Otherwise, Brandon Bale is always going to get on the end of it. Let's go. Huge, huge goal that is for Sutton United. Right, half-time. Perfect first half from Sutton United. Liverpool nil, Sutton United 2. Fantastic performance from Sutton United in that first half. Absolutely all over Liverpool. I mean, they've had their chances, Liverpool, to be fair. But I, th I think we'd like to say we've been the better team so far. Three shots on target to, to their two. 
58% of the ball. We've definitely been the much better team so far. Can the boys carry it on? Let's see how we go. Oof! Bond! Bond makes it three! Let's go! What a performance here from Sutton United! Absolutely brilliant! Brilliant finish, trademark finish from Jay Bond. That's what he does. You do not give him any sort of space. Brilliant. Sutton United fully deserved this. Liverpool have been all over the place this afternoon. Especially defensively. They've just not been good enough. And Jay fucking Bond makes it 3-0 to Sutton United. Let's go. We're a big club now, ladies and gents. We are a big fucking club. Let's go. There we go, chance in again. Could get worse to Liverpool. And it is. It's going to get worse from Brandon Bell. Take a fucking bell, mate. Stunning finish. We've just been so clinical in front of goal. We're just so good. It, the team's at that level now where they can almost beat anybody. Let's go. Classic cut Sutton United counter attack. Liverpool cannot handle it. They cannot handle the pace of Brandon Bell today he's been on form keeper should be doing better at his near post but we're not going to complain 4-0 Stanley making the run here's Sim can he make it worse oh good save from Allison. great save Velikovny is going to come off he's played well today well played mate there we go, full time, Liverpool nil, Sutton United 4, stunning performance here from Sutton United, absolutely brilliant, we were just all over them, you know, we were just a really good team today, it's 13 shots to 7 where we actually dominated the game, you know, we just we were just the better team today, you just got handed to us, you know, simple as that, they had um, 5 shots on target, we had, um, is it 6, 7, we had 8 shots on target I think, Let's go. We will fully take that. Four goals to nil. Dominating performance. And Wepper's ready to change to a centre-back. And he is going to 69. There we go. That is what I'm talking about. Right, his, his pace needs to go up very quickly. A 60 acceleration is not going to be good enough. So let's get him up on his pace very quickly. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that is where I'm going to end today's episode of the Sutton United Career Mode. What an episode today. Four wins from four. 15 goals scored, 6 conceded, I definitely think we are improving in the goals um, goals conceded department, we're looking a bit more defensive, I mean defensively better, I mean I meant to say, Southampton we didn't look very good, um, we are very lucky to come away with a win, but we came away with a win and that is what champions do. So let's see how we got on in the next episode, in the next episode we have got the first Champions League game of our um, career mode, we are going to be going up against Inter Milan. It's going to be a very interesting game. I wonder how we get on there. We've also got a Premier League game against Everton coming up as well. We are currently sitting in sixth. Then I think we've got the Carabao Cup. I don't know who we've drawn, so let me just have a quick check on that. We have got Southampton. Of course we've got Southampton. Why am I not surprised? And we're probably going to go out against Southampton as well because I'm not going to play it because I'm not interested in the Carabao Cup. We get to the final, I'll play the final, but it is what it is. Then we've got the... Um, after that, we've got a second game against Borussia Dortmund in the second game of the UEFA Champions League. So, very, very interesting episode, next episode. I hope you guys are looking forward to it. I am so excited to go and record that episode. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, make sure you make sure you leave it a like. Because, you know, we've also got games coming up against Newcastle United as well, who are sitting in 19th who have not won a game so they'll probably beat us in their first game of the season so yeah four games in the next episode as well i am trying to get more games out for you guys make it a bit longer of the episode so you guys do enjoy the episode so yes we've got games again in Milan, Borussia Dortmund, Everton and Southampton which will be a sim to game and Newcastle United i hope you guys are ready to enjoy the next episode make sure you leave this a like hit that subscribe button if you are new and let's see if we can get maybe 
I'd like to see if we can hit about 30 views on the channel um, for most career mode videos. If you do go, guys hit that target, I'll be very, very happy. So if you guys have gone on to enjoy today's episode, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you for the next episode very, very soon.